Dear friends, welcome to Know Thyself YouTube channel. Good morning. Hope you are all staying safe and keeping well. I sincerely thank all of you who have subscribed to this channel and follow the channel. If you find the contents of the videos uploaded in this channel useful, please subscribe to this channel and click the notification or the bell icon so that you can be notified when a video is uploaded. Kindly share the videos with others or in the internet. In today's episode of A Message to Manage Your Day, I would like to share some thoughts on the theme, Learning to Make Your Life Meaningful. Milton Highland Erickson was an American psychiatrist and a psychologist specialized in medical hypnosis and family therapy. He lived from 5th December 1901 to 25th March 1980. He was the founding president of the American Society for Clinical Hypnosis. He was specially known for his approach to creatively using the unconscious mind for finding solutions to his clients' mental issues. He himself suffered from many physical ailments for the most part of his life. He narrates this interesting story of an elderly woman who was depressed and whom he was asked to counsel. Since the woman was unable to visit him in his clinic, he went to meet her in her home. During his visit, Erickson noticed three well-cared-for African violet plants. Each was a different color, and next to them was an empty pot in which the woman was clearly going to propagate another plant. He realized that the lady was a talented horticulturist. After some initial conversation with her, Erickson said to her that her problem was not depression, but she just did not know how to make her life meaningful by using her divinely gifted natural talent in order to bring joy in the life of those in need. The elderly woman was startled and surprised at what Erickson told her. Erickson told her about her talent for growing African violet plants. It was a gift she was keeping to herself. He suggested her to purchase more pots and transplant leaves to grow more of these beautiful plants. When she had an adequate supply, he wanted her to send an African violet plant to the mother who had delivered a baby in her community, to every member of the community who was seriously ill or hospitalized, and to every member of her community who was in any way need of love, care, and support. After Erickson left, she began to think about what he had said. She decided to give it a try. When she had enough plans to give out, she took an African violet plant to a friend who had recently lost her husband, to a mother who just had a baby, and soon it became a regular part of her life. Many others supported her both financially and otherwise in the good work she was doing for her community. Her depression disappeared. She was happy and joyful. Thus, she lived the last years of her life meaningfully and joyfully. About 10 years later, an article appeared in the local newspaper with the title, African Violet Queen Dies, Mourned by Thousands. In making others happy by reaching out to them in their difficult and happy moments, with an African violet plant and a loving note, she made a difference in the life of many. In doing so, she learned to make her life meaningful. The act of loving kindness she extended to others destroyed her depression, made her life meaningful, and increased her joy a hundredfold. What do I learn from the real life story of this elderly woman? Have I learned to make my life meaningful as I live my everyday life? Do I know what my talents and gifts are? Do I use them to bring joy and happiness in the life of others and to destroy my depression and sadness? Am I a sensitive person who feels the needs of others and reach out to them? 
Dear friends, Thomas Merton, the American Trappist monk and spiritual writer says, Love is our true destiny. We do not find meaning of life by ourselves alone. We find it with another. Until the elderly woman realized that love was her true destiny, that she cannot walk towards this destiny and find meaning in life without reaching out to others in loving kindness, she suffered from depression. When through Dr. Erickson, she realized that she should use her talent in horticulture to reach out to everyone who needs her love, concern, and care, it made all the difference. Her depression vanished, her life was filled with meaning, and her heart was filled with joy and happiness. May the divine, in whom you find your ultimate meaning, purpose, and joy, be with you to assist you in your effort to find meaning in life by knowing your talents and using them to bring joy to those in need, thereby let go your gloom, sadness, and depression and experience genuine joy of living. This is my wish and prayer for you, dear friends. Thank you for watching this video. Stay blessed until we see you again with another video.